How you guys doing? This is Brandon Mott around here with Zone Sports. Uh, today we're just going to walk you through uh, what I believe are some basic fundamentals regarding to footwork and transfer when throwing the ball down a second to gun a runner out. We can't get the ball down there without putting a really serious emphasis down on our footwork first. We will always ask catchers work from the ground up. So for me, when I know there's a runner on first base with a high likelihood that he's going to steal, I'm going to make sure that I'm in my nice secondary position so I'm able to block and throw and be as athletic as I can. So in this position, I want to be the most athletic that I possibly can to put myself in a position to make a play. I'm going to graduate here from my sign giving stance. I'm going to give a sign. Now I'm going to move out my feet to about maybe a little bit more than shoulder length apart, just far enough where I can have a nice base above me, below me, excuse me. I don't want anyone to be able to come over here and push me over. I want to be able to move each direction laterally as well as forward. Give the pitcher a nice target. So now the pitch is thrown and the runner is running. I can see him out of my peripheral vision. The first mistake I see a lot of young players do is they go out to get the ball. The second you go out to get the ball, you are technically slowing yourself down. That ball is always going to be traveling faster than you can go out and catch it and bring it in. So what I want to do is I want to catch a strike. I want to let that ball travel to me and catch a strike. I now catch the ball. First thing I want to do is transfer this way. I don't want to bring my hand down or bring my hand too low. I want to just kind of turn that glove in so that I'm using small, quick movements. So now my hand is now turned in and I go with my body to kind of make a quick move with my right foot. I want to just take my foot and get it moving forward as quickly as I can. Now while I'm bringing my foot forward, I'm also transferring the ball. So it should look a little bit like this. Notice, I'm not standing up and coming out of my crouch to throw this ball. The second I stand up, the second my feet are no longer working for me. So we have these markers here. I like to use them as a nice key for where my feet really should be. I'm gonna take my left, my right foot here, and I'm gonna jab it into this front, front thing. I feel that if I'm here and replacing my feet, my momentum is carrying me out towards this way rather than out towards second base, which is where ultimately I wanna make the throw. So now if I'm swinging around, my feet aren't perfect, I need to kind of compensate for my momentum with a strong arm, which at a young age is very, very difficult to do. I'm now catching this ball. I've now been here. I now bring my other foot around. I'm in a nice, good, strong throwing position. I have already made my transfer by the time I'm here, but I want to have a good, nice separation between my front arm and my back arm so that I'm not too tight, I'm not too long, where everything starts to kind of break down and move. I want to be tight enough to just snap and snap this ball down to second base. So in full speed, it should kind of look something similar to this. My feet are here, pretty much center cut, even. I'm in my back leg, my, I have a nice separation, my ball is ready to be fired from here, and now it's just go time. Now I just let it go, I follow my throw down to second base, and watch my shortstop tag the runner. 